Fish Fridays, it's a really awesome event. It's the first Friday of every month. Normally in the warm months, they try and do it at least nine months out of the year. Um, I've always been an attendee. I've never had a booth, so this is really awesome that me and my best friend can sit down and like collab on this. But it's a great time for local artists to come out and show support to one another and really learn about the other opportunities that are out here. So I'm really pumped to see who I meet and who likes what I have and who doesn't. Constructive criticism is okay, <laughs> but it should be a good time. I'm excited. We do have Lexis Spiegel here. She's all of our photography. She does my photos. She does the majority of our friends' photos. She's awesome. She does a lot of landscaping, those longest portraits. So we're, we're a wide variety out here this evening. Well, I've known Kim for a couple years now, and uh, she got interested in painting, and so then we decided, okay, why don't we combine both of our loves and do a photo or do a, um, a booth together at First Fridays, and so now here we are. Um, I really got into painting because I always looked up to my mom. She was really creative as I was growing up. She did anything and everything for all my school events, come from t-shirts to the advertising for it, so I kind of just followed in her footsteps. I really got started with photography when I was about, I'd say, nine or ten at my aunt's wedding. Um, my uncle was uh, running around with a camera and he let me follow him and ever since then I kind of started getting really interested in it. And then my parents bought me my first camera and then after that it just kind of took off. In the last few years though I've started to take it more seriously uh, and uh, having clients and getting paid for my work and now I'm here trying to sell my work finally and hopefully kind of get things rolling. I have my own paintings here and I also have some of my own uh, urban fashion. I call it distressed, restored fashion. Like, It's not all handmade, it's not all fresh from itself, but it is our own creation. So it's just a little twist on what everyday life is about. More specifically, the works that I have done would be, um, I went to Colorado just recently. Um, I'm part of a snowboarding film called Before It Melts. Um, where we w went to Colorado, hiked around, and as the guys were jumping off their kickers, um, I took photos of them, so that was kind of a big deal. Really excited about that and see where that goes. Um, so that's probably my biggest pride at the moment. Um, other than that, I have done my friends. Um, I have done more nature. That's kind of what I'm trying to gear towards is doing nature and landscape photography. Just because I love to travel and I love to take photos, so why not combine the two? Um, so that's kind of where Colorado came in play. And I'm kind of trying to take that and move forward with it and use those examples and those photos from that trip and push that, push towards that direction and get going with that. Time management has been the biggest struggle out of all of this. Um, I'm a full-time student right now going for graphic design and I also work full-time as a server. Trying to manage that with a social life that I can't seem to get away from. It's been kind of hard, but it's, that's the beauty of it. Like the networking thing is really what's sold me. Like, just being out and about and just going with the flow is really what got us to this event to begin with. We are wine experts, as we like to say. <laughs> so the whole wine thing, we kind of just went to some whimsical event. Uh, it was uh, Kansas City Wine, and we went in there with an open mind, just hoping to meet people, and they were so receptive of what we had to offer. It kind of worked out. For both of our benefits, we have um, the KC Wine Works here today at our stand. Um, it's kind of a co-collab, and that's been a huge blessing. Um, throughout the years of living in Kansas City, I've over time realized that this is the hot spot to be. So we kind of put ourselves in the best position we can to meet the best people that can hopefully benefit both of us. At this stand, we're doing like a creative zone in general. You can come, you can paint, draw, just to kind of make your own thing. Our whole aspect of it is just to express yourself, to kind of just let yourself be who you are and go from there and just kind of listen to your inner voice. First Fridays, to me, it means um, community. It means really coming together as a, an art community. I mean, the bond with everyone. Like, you can walk down the street and be like, hey, I really like your art, I'm also an artist, and instantly you guys have a connection, and instantly you guys can work together and, and, and make connections, and I don't know, it, it's really neat. It's like a family around here, and I think that's why I like coming so often. I've been for years, and now that I'm able to be a part of it, and people can come up to me and be like, hey, this is what I do. It's going to be really interesting. I'm really excited.